All right, so how you doing, guys? This is a, a different type of video that there was no plan on doing whatsoever. I'm here, Mike Spider Slayer, and uh, I was cleaning my house, you know, got nothing else better to do, right? My dog's crate's right over here, so it's like there's hair all over the place, and I decided to vacuum it up. And right next to me, I have this, I have this drawer, okay? So this drawer inside has uh has comics in it and this drawer is next to me on my bed forever and uh cbnvg says hello and uh thank you for watching uh this is again a surprise thing but this this drawer has things in it that I forgot that totally existed so uh when I moved into this house I'm sure these comics were uh, going back two years ago and boom boom comics says hey mike and uh and i was kind of like dude I'm, I'm gonna check this out so we're gonna open up this drawer it's instead of an unboxing video how you doing sebastian um instead of doing this instead of doing an unboxing video it's like an undrawer video or i don't know what you want to call it um but if you like this video give it a thumbs up so we're going to open up this drawer and we're going to see what comics are inside here and uh i just thought this would be a fun little video to show what's in of this drawer so we, we ready here all right so here we go opening it up and we're going to see what's inside this drawer lord knows what's inside okay all right, so we can see right from the start, there's a Superman book. So we'll start from here. So we got the uh, the Superman issue 75, obviously the, the depth of, of Superman. So that's in here. Okay, so I don't even know where to like put these things. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. All right, so next I have the Green Lantern Emerald Dawn issue one. So I got that. Um, and then you have, okay, so this looks like it's a series, Emerald Dawn, issue two. How you doing, Dylan? So, yeah, this is a secret stash video, guys, where these comics were in this drawer for years, and I forgot they existed in here. So I'm showing all of you what's in this drawer. All right, Emerald Dawn, issue three is in here. All right, that's Hal Jordan there. I really miss... Oh, Hal Jordan, man. I don't like Grant Morrison stuff. Here's Emerald Dawn issue four. That's an awesome cover. So we got that as well. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, and uh, if you want to chat in the below, go ahead and chat. Let's talk. Uh, Emerald Dawn issue five. So we got that one as well. That's pretty cool, too. So that's neat. And then we have more Emerald Dawn here. So we got Emerald Dawn issue six. So we got that, so you can see that. That's a cool cover. Really nice looking cover there. All right. And then I have, um, we're going to go on to Spider-Man. Um, Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Have you read anything by Alan Moore? Yes, I think. Alan Moore, didn't he do Watchmen? Didn't he do that? So um, I'm not too good with remembering people who wrote stuff. Unless it's Spider-Man stuff. But I got that Spider-Man first issue, Untold Tales of Spider-Man. Uh, so I got that. And here... Oh, <laughs> DC Comic Presents issue one, uh, Harley Quinn, 100-page spectacular. So I have that. I, how long has that been in here? I can't even look at this stuff, man. It, yeah, this is it. It's like an unboxing video, right? Like a secret haul. Nicholas says, sweet, Nick. Uh, thanks. All right. Yeah, that's really cool, man. That's cool. It's funny. There's things that you buy that you don't remember you have. Is that when you know you have too many comic books? Oh, look at this. This is... Oh, I think these are sticking together. Oh, no, that's a bag and a board. This is The Adventures of Superman, Back from the Dead, Part 1. Still bagged, and it's bagged and boarded. So I don't know if I ever even opened it. So there was that one. So that goes with the death of Superman right there. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, here's another one. The, uh, this is Back from the Dead as well, issue 500. But this is one that's not in the uh, poly bag. 
So we have that one there too. So you guys can see that one. So that's cool. And I got 10 viewers watch. This is this is awesome. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, I didn't expect anyone to watch this. Um, oh, Reign of Superman. Okay. So we get to see the Reign of Superman. Uh, issue 687. Me and my 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 friend, uh, Chris over on Comic Frontline. When we first do started doing YouTube, we did dual reviews, and we decided to do Reign of Superman, and maybe that's where I kept these books. I didn't know where I kept them, <laughs> so I could have easiness to reading, and I totally forgot they existed. So there's the other one, classic man. Uh, Reign of Superman. This is issue seventy eight. Yeah, tomorrow is back, so that's cool. And then Adventures of Superman issue 15. All right. So this is, again, my secret stash of comics. Uh, Superman in action comics. So I wound up getting that one as well. That's cool. And then Superman, Man of Steel. So, yeah. Is John Ramuda Jr. in any of those Spider-Man books? I don't think so I don't think so we'll find out cyborg superman this is probably one of my favorite covers when it comes to superman title i love that cover so we got that one and then we have reign of superman the adventures of superman issue 19 so we have that also and then we have issue 20 Dan Jurgens, that's right. That's awesome. 12 viewers watching. Thank you, guys. More Reign of Superman. Issue 24. So we got that. Not a fan of that cover. That were, we're kind of lucky. And then we have... <laughs> look at that one. Cyborg Superman defeating... Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, my God. I can't, I can't even remember. Who's that Superman with the glasses? That looks like Tomb Terminator. You guys... Jog my memory for me. And this is actually Green Lantern issue that continues in that series. of Eradicator, yes, thank you. Um, and then we have that one. We have the uh, Green Lantern issue 46. This is a cool issue to have. I remember this was an issue that I was looking for in this run for the very longest time. And for some reason, I couldn't find it. And then I remember I got it. More Reign of Superman from Action Comics. There's Eradicator Superman fighting me. So we got that one. And dude, there's a lot of comics that fit in his drawer. Not a fan of this uh, this artwork. It's just too sketchy for me. Too many lines. Makes Superman look real old. So we got that in there. And then we have Reign of Superman continues on issue 81 right here of Superman. Um, need to use the CLZ app. Is, what is that? Is that an app that like shows my face on it as I'm doing this? Did John Brain make that cover? Which one? The one with uh, Black Superman on it? Can't find the artist's name. Not sure. I have not seen that Reign of Superman film. I have not seen it. Scoundrel Gaming says, hey, Mike, how you doing today? I'm doing all Awesome. Doing awesome. It's President's Day. Kids got off from school today. So for me, that's a cool cover. No, you can scan in your comic collection for inventory. Oh, well, that's cool. Being that I have probably over 5,000 comics, that would take a long time, but that is kind of cool. Reign of Superman back for good. So I, ha I honestly have this complete thing. What else is in here? I got this People magazine from like Star Wars. So the stars of Star Wars. What else is in here? Oh. The official collector's edition of The Force of Winds. <laughs> so got that too. What else is in this this thing here? I got some kind of poster. Oh my gosh. I, I had this forever. I got these posters. What's in here? Oh, it's an arrow poster. I can't open it up and hold the camera at the same time. May 26th on Disney XD, everybody. Avengers Assemble. That's how old this is. 
Marvel Kids, <laughs> and this version of Iron Man, Gurnan Gillen's run of Iron Man issue nine. So that tells you how old this stuff is sitting in here. So I got that. I used that service at 25 boxes of comics. Wow. All right. Next, we got one side that is complete. Okay. So we got that stuff. I think I'm going to just, you know what? I'm just going to put it right back in where I got it from. That's all. If it's been there all this time, hey, let's go back. All right. So we got one side done. Let's do the other side now. All right, so next we wind up getting, uh, we have this uh, Untold Tales of Spider-Man, issue five. It's only 99 cents. Remember those days? I think someone sent these to me in the mail. So I got this as well. I did. So one of my viewers sent this to me. And I remember when I unboxed them, I was like, wow, these are really cool. And I put them in this drawer. And this, again, this is the, the drawer of death. Like, it doesn't come out. Oh, and then this, check out this one. Fantasy Masterpieces starring the Silver Surfer. Sooner or later, the Surfer battles Spider-Man. That's an oldie. Older, at least. That's going to fall down, so I'm going to put that on. <sighs> this ain't worth anything. Spider-Man team-up featuring the X-Men. When was this? Probably when Marvel was going bankrupt, right? Man, Sebastian goes, man, that is old. I love the Spider-Man comic. Read the whole thing and didn't get... Oh, here's a uh, a cool Wonder Woman one. Starring Deathstroke, Wonder Woman, Amazon versus Assassin. This is issue one. That's an awesome cover. I'm trying to see who does this. Loeb? Thompson. That's pretty cool. So we got that one. There's a bag and board, random. Uh, hey, look at this. It's Soul Fire um, from Comic Central. This is my, this is an exclusive to my comic book store. So um, this was the only cover that they had for this comic, I guess, here. It was an exclusive to the comic book store. All right. And then we got. Spider-Man issue one. So we have that as well. So that's quite interesting. So didn't even know that was in there. And I have many copies of that one, I think. And then I have Spider-Lamb Unlimited issue four. Maybe this might be worth more money now that Mysterio is here, right? Who knows? But that's cool. That is awesome. Yep, Todd McFarlane exclusive. I remember buying that Todd McFarlane issue, that first one. All right, so Spider-Man Final Adventure issue three. Did you guys know that the Marvel is keeping Tom Holland a little longer? I love this version the most. Yeah, Tom Holland is a really good Spider-Man. I think he is probably the best Spider-Man. I don't know what you guys think out there. So we got this on here. We got the Adventures of Spider-Man. Yeah. Frank says, oh, yo, sweet Mysterio cover. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Check out this one with Electro on it, though. That's cool. It's it, like Spider-Man's hood is on fire. I want to know what you guys think when it comes to Spider-Man. Like, how many costumes do you think he's gone through over the years of him fighting, right? And then he has to make all those costumes again? Like, think about that, you know? Especially in the comics where you see him all torn up and stuff. Gamma Comics waves hi. Welcome. Uh, Untold, Untold Tales of Spider-Man, issue 9. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like the man back on him. Lizard looks stupid. I don't like him that way. It's like a more nostalgic way, but I don't like him that way. Oh my god. Look at this, guys. Do you remember when this came out? Superman Unchained, New 52, issue 1. Dude, that, the cover is great. This series? Whew, horrible. Oh, you guys are going to like... If you guys were around back in the day, you're going to love this one. Gen 13. This is the original miniseries. Uh, cover done by uh, uh, J. Scott Campbell. Man, oh man. Brings back memories. Look at the back on that. Yep. 
That is really cool. God, I love that. I for totally forgot I had this shit, man. Oh, look, we got Iron Man cover here. This is issue 137. It's in decent shape. So we got that one. Uh, 15 viewers, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. I, I, I don't know if this is exciting for you, but this is kind of fun for me and uh, something different than I usually do. And uh, you know, again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let other people know that this... You, who would think that all these comics can fit in this drawer? This is the Hulk issue 400. Gimmick cover, hologram cover, foil cover, whatever you want to call it. Next we have the Iron Man issue 142. See the Golden Avengers all-new armor designed for outer space action. What's that? Is that the Death Star in the background? Look at that. <laughs> it's so hysterical. Oh, man. Guys, let me know if you would like more of these types of videos where I can show my comic collection. Uh, you know, hard to get to my comics all the time, but it, it would be kind of cool to do this because like, this is kind of fun. All right, Iron Man issue 300. This is more armor. Stark leads the Iron Legion against Ultimo, the living holocaust. Yes, we have that. So that's cool. Here's a book from Australia. I remember getting this from my uh, my my uh, sister-in-law. She gave me Killer Roo. This is from Australia. Bruckheimer must die. Look at that. How awesome is that? So funny. Zara says, yeah, I would love more of this content. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Again, I'm glad you're enjoying this, this video. Oh, here's something. Guys might like this. If you guys are a Venom fan, the Amazing Spider-Man Carnage is back. The annual. This is annual 20. So we have that. And then we have Guardians of the Galaxy. Issue 1. I don't know when this is from. Which, like, which volume this is. Right? This is the I Am Groot and Scotty Young variant. So yeah, that's cool. Kyla, what are you doing, dude? It's my dog in the background. He's eating like a toilet paper roll. Went in the garbage. Oh my God, I totally forgot this was in here. Why is this in here? Oh my God, guys. <laughs> this is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 361. The first appearance of Carnage. My God, I can't believe this is in here. Why is it not in the box? Who has this book? Not even sure what the value of this is at this point in time. Wow. Yes, it would be cool in the Time Vault episode. Man, I'm kind of shocked that I have that cover sitting there. How about this one? Uh, Batman Incorporated, issue 8. What was this one, guys? You remember this one? Um, was this the death of Robin or something like that? I don't remember. Gamma Comics says that first appearance of a uh, Carnage is worth more than 15 bucks these days. So yeah, we got that one. Death of Damien. Yep, that was that, was that one. New 52. All right. This is a independent book. Like, complete independent that I got at Megacon uh, from Smash Comics. Death Fox, issue 2. So this is probably a book you guys have never even heard of. And then we have some uh, Grim Fairy Tales books. So we got that one. Realm Knights. More Realm Knights here. Say Mathers is on the covers there. All these things are starting to fall. That amazing Spider-Man's worrying me now. Got some more Realm Knights here. That's cool. That's a cool cover. That's all. Here we have Quest. I remember reading these. Do I like Lego? I like Lego, but I don't have the patience to build them. I have a friend of mine that collects Legos and builds all the Star Wars ones. And then he just keeps them as displays. He's got like one of the newest Millennium Falcon. Like that. There's Quest issue two. <laughs> He's kidding that they're girls. It's crazy. Then we have another quest. So we have that one. 
as well. So that's cool. 17 viewers, nine likes. Thanks, guys. I'm really glad you're enjoying this. Age of Darks Code Red. She's like Red Riding Hood in that in this universe. She was cool. Have you seen the movies? Yeah, I've seen the movies. I haven't seen the second one though yet. I've seen this uh the first movie. I've seen um that's a nice cover. What was the other movies? Wasn't another Lego movie out too? Batman movie. Yeah, I saw that one too. That was hilarious. That was good. Code Red. Look at this troll looking freak. We got that one too. It's great, man. It's opening up a safe underwater or something. Look at this cover. Code Red. How, okay, let's be honest. Like, who who fights like this? Right? Like, who can fight like that? There's no protection up top. Really, you're just falling out. There, there's no way. All right, next. We have Web of Spider-Man issue one, the double-sized annual. I hope in phase four we get a MCU. We get R-rated Logan style violence. Would you guys like to see R-rated uh, superhero movies like Logan or, or other movies like that? All right, so we got that. And then last but not least, guys, this is the last comment. And this goes to Untold, Untold Tales of Spider-Man issue eight. Only 99 cents. Man, oh man, were those the days, huh? Jeez. Do you have Meredith Finch written comic? I have a few Meredith Finch comics. Um, the ones from Wonder Woman, right? I have that one. Um, yeah, we actually, over on my group channel on Comic Frontline, uh, we've actually had interviews with her on the channel on Comic Frontline Live uh, with David Finch and Meredith Finch both um we asked them questions and they promoted their books and stuff like that so yeah we we had a good time uh with both of them they're very nice people very nice people david finch is class act his wife meredith is, is awesome so really great stuff um so yeah guys there you have it there's all the stuff in my in my drawer that i totally forgot i have it looks like the treasure of the um of the day here was that Amazing Spider-Man issue. Um, now I can't even find it. I don't even know where it's at now. I can't. Yeah, this one. This is the treasure in this in this drawer. So I gotta make sure of this, and uh, let's let's hope it holds its value because uh, this is a good issue to have. I I bought this at the comic book store when I was a kid, and uh, I thought Carnage looked cool at the time. I didn't think it was gonna be worth anything. I just bought it to read it. And I think, honestly, this is one of these books, guys, before I started reviewing comics, where it was, I read it one time, I put it in this bag and board. This is the original bag and board that it came in. And uh, that's it. It's it's in really, really good shape. So, um, <laughs> so Scoundrel Gaiman says, so are you keeping comics or are you selling them when you get older? It, it's going to have to make a decision. Um uh, as I get older, if I pass them down to kids or if um, I decide to sell them when I get older for maybe, you know, for some extra money as we become an old man. I don't know. I have a lot of comics. I'm sure I can't hold on to every single one of them, especially at the amount that I buy. I um, um, Gamma Comics says, if you want to sell it, let me know. I would buy it for me. I appreciate that. Um because the amount of comics I have and the amount of comics I continue to buy, it adds up a lot of space. Uh, I have almost a whole half a wall in my garage covered in short boxes. So it's got to be at least 5,000 5, comics, at least. So, um, so yeah. So there you guys have it. Again, hopefully you guys in this. And um, if you like, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't done so already. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just uh, do more of these videos. I did a series called My Comics at one point where I just showed my box of comics. Um, and maybe I might just do it again as I've gotten more comics. So uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next comic book review. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye.